So I am continuing with the topic functions of bank. The main functions of bank are acceptance of deposits from the public, provide demand withdrawal facility, lending facility, transfer of funds, issue of draft, provide customers with locker facility, dealing with foreign exchange. So in that acceptance of deposits from the public, the phrase deposits of money from the public implies that a banker accepts deposit from anyone who offers his or her money for such purpose. The basic principle of the banking business is thus acceptance of deposits which are to be utilized for lending and for, and for investment purpose. The banker therefore acts as an intermediary who deals in the money belonging to the public. There is difference between the terms loans and deposits. Generally, when amounts are borrowed on condition that they should be repaid on the expiry of a term, they are regarded as loans rather than deposits. Here comes a very important case, Sir Muhammad Akbar Khan versus Atar Singh. In this case, it was said like, in case of deposits, the liability to repay arises only when a demand for repayment has been made. So, we can continue with the main function of bank. And the second main function is making loans and advances. Lending money is one of the important functions of a bank. This is the lending or advancing of money either upon or without security. Banks accept deposits from those persons who have surplus money and grant loans and advances to those who need. Bank charge comparatively higher rate of interest on the amount advanced thus loan. These loans are advanced by the bank through the following ways. The first one is cash credit, second one is overdraft, third one is true loan and discounting and purchase of bills. Cash credit means the businessman generally need regular loans and therefore it may be inconvenient for them to make a fresh agreement every time. Thus they make an agreement in this regard for an anticipated certain amount required in a year. Such amount is not withdrawn as a whole in one time, but the customer withdraws only such amount whichever he requires at a time. The interest is charged only on the amount withdrawn. The cash credit is generally allowed on the securities only. Then overdraft. This facility may be av available to current account holders. Under this facility, the current account holder can withdraw the money more than the balance amount in the account. The account holder makes an agreement with the bank in this regard for an anticipated certain amount required in a year. The interest is charged only on the amount withdrawn. The limit of overdraft is granted keeping in view the image or credit of the account holder in the market. The main difference between the overdraft and cash credit is that the facility of overdraft may be available only to current account holder while cash credit can be given to any person. The facility of overdraft is given only for a very short period while the facility of cash credit is given for a comparatively longer period. Loan that means a certain amount in the form of an advance is given for a certain period. The sanctioned amount of advance is deposited by the bank in the current account of the person concerned. The loan may be refunded as a whole in one time or in installments. The property is to be pledged or mortgaged for such loan. Then discounting and purchase of bills. Banks grant advance by discounting and purchasing of the bills. 
when the bank gives advance on bills before the date of maturity then the interest till the date of maturity from the date of sanctioning the advance is deducted and this deduction is called discounting and now we can come come to the another important functions of bank agency function bank perform agency functions for their customers on the following stages that means collection of checks bills etc making and collecting payments that means on behalf of customers they will collect payments for insurance policies house rent etc accepting bills bank accept bills of exchange as per orders of their customers they also make payments on checks bills hundis of their customers then remittance facility facilities uh, then purchase and sale of shares and securities reference letter acting as trustees all these are the agency function miscellaneous miscellaneous functions like banks make the arrangement of the lockers for the safety of valuables ornaments securities and documents we can keep all our valuables in the custody of bank then bank deals with foreign exchange and bank issues the travelers check and letters of credit to their customers which help them in foreign journey and next important function is financing of internal and external trade banks make the finance for internal and external trade on the security of foreign bills of exchange and hundis and the main important function is to create credit generally the bank give loan more than the amount deposited in the account and that is the another important function of bank and thus the main functions of bank we can see like to receive deposits loans and advances it act as an agent miscellaneous function credit creation and financing of internal and external trade and by this today's class came to an end and we can see in the next class thank you